party day, bro. Party day. Bachelor party. Dude, Keith's finally Keith's finally getting married, bro. Bachelor party, man. We're going we're going to the we're going to the to the bar. We're going to do some crazy shit. Huge day, bro. Absolutely fucking huge day. Last day is... Ah, oh, fuck. I turned off the freaking music. Ah, oh, fuck. You know, that's because I've already freaking uh, absolutely blasted. You know, I've been... I've been... I've been down in whole ice-cold bottles of water all day. All day, dude. You fucking know me, bro. I actually had to turn off the game because I need to make sure I reset the save on it. Ice cold water. You guys know me. I'm out of fucking control. I actually had a really fun day today where I woke up to my uh, to my doctor's office sending me a bill. And you know, sometimes I get co-pays. Those are really fun. You know what's less fun? Why well, not it's really way less fun? When your doctor's office uh, sends you bills completely circumventing your insurance and thus all the insurance you... Uh, you pay so much money for a month to have, uh, doesn't matter, uh, because they fucked up somewhere. So I had to call my fucking insurance company this morning and go like, what's up? <laughs> you guys say you denied it. And then they're like, I don't even see it on your records. These pla th these never got, th this doesn't make any sense. Like they're confused too. So this, this person, bless their heart, calls my fucking doctor's office they're put on hold for like an hour with my doctor's office on my behalf to hunt down why like i'm being billed some uh, something in excess of a thousand dollars for real this is for real for real and they uh, they allegedly solved it i'm like sitting on the fucking i'm sitting on the button to reschedule my surgery for the next like four days because if I go back to that fucking bill and it says there's still some issue with my doctors where they're fucking up sending shit to my insurance, there's no fucking way I'm having surgery and getting billed some, like, $10,000, okay? I will fucking re- I got- I'm like, I'm- <laughs> oh, weird day. Your doctor's office sounds like ass? Oh, it is. Oh. It is. They are. But yeah. Hey man. Who fucking knows? There's a chance I may even reschedule it to December just because. <laughs> just because I don't know if I want to fucking deal with it. I might reschedule it to the beginning of December anyways. Fortunately, I can afford to do that because my hands is still perfectly fine. But I'm... Oh, God, that stressed me out so much. I was like, literally this morning, I was like, do I just fucking, like, call my hospital and be like, what's up? Can't reschedule. I, I don't trust you guys to not bill me. Holiday discount. I'm less worried about the surgery at this point and more worried about the timing because it's like I'm just being battered by so much shit and like it's just so much shit and I gotta deal with the like the IRS crap too and the idea of dealing with that one arm short for a couple weeks is even more stressful so I may genuinely just be like let's aim this for like mid-December when like I know they're not gonna be bothering me for a bit I'm thinking about it I won't feel too bad about calling my doctor's office if I decide to over the weekend I won't feel too bad calling them on Monday and just being like what's up that uh, that surgery on Thursday psych I won't feel too bad they've done enough horrible shit to me I won't feel too bad what if your doctor is a viewer bro Dude, I just, oh my god. It's so, it's so hard to rationalize a surgery that 
No, it's not hard to rationalize. I want this surgery. It's really hard to fucking figure out the timing where you can say, I don't need my arm. <laughs> Usually when you break your arm or something, it's something that happens and you didn't see it coming. So you just roll with the punches. It's really hard to schedule something that you don't necessarily need right now, but you will need to have done at a certain point. And you know, once that happens, you will have a bad time for a couple of weeks. And that's like so fucking stressful to like time that. It's just wildly inconvenient. When's the best month to not have to use my arm? <laughs> and the answer is probably December. Because I probably wouldn't want to work very much over like the holidays anyways. That's usually where it lands for me personally. No nut November, obviously. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> True, bro. True. True. <laughs> yeah, I'm like thinking about it a lot now as I get closer to Thursday because I'm just like, fuck, man. My sometimes I swear my my like the issues like gone. And I think like me, I, I've almost solved it by just keeping my arms straight all the time instead of bending them. And I'm almost tempted to be like, fuck, maybe I can just fix this myself without having to have someone fuck up my elbow. It was just, it's just stressful because I, I know it's something that inevitably one day is going to be something I have to deal with, whether it's next week or next year. But it's hard when like doctors are like, you will have permanent irreparable damage if you don't get this surgery right now. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't. Uh. Quietly, it's more of just, I want to make sure if I'm going in, my insurance company's going to have my back. Because <laughs> today felt real bad. Today felt, it felt really bad to pay as much as I pay for surgery. Because I took the hypochondriac uh, insurance. Okay, I, I took one where I, as someone that goes to the doctor quite a bit, took one that costs a little bit more money because I'm a fucking hypochondriac and I'm in there a lot. Okay, so I'm paying them quite well. So they better have my fucking back. <laughs> I better not see bills coming in. Oh my god, I had to have the fucking poor lady, bless her heart, call my fucking doctor's office and be like, Hi, does this person work here? And they were like, yeah. And she's like, well then why are you saying he doesn't when my client here calls me? They like got mad at them on my behalf. It was fucking badass. I was like in the like I was in like the line with them and I was like bro <laughs> this person's fucking absolutely owning this bozo I I'm like I think I'm one of the only people that's been really lucky that whenever I call like people have so many nightmares about calling insurance companies and stuff I've never had a bad experience talking to someone that works at my insurance agency. And it's fucking, it's lovely because every other part of my life is so wildly stressful that it's nice that at least one person doesn't, uh, doesn't make me want to fucking die. That's unbelievable. It really is. <laughs> it really is. And they're paid enough. They're not paid enough to. Yeah. True. What could stress you out about streaming? <laughs> he just plays games. <laughs> He's just playing games. Nurse. Ugh. I read their second message and I know they're baiting me, but I always do like to loop around to the scariest thing about streaming, which is I have no benefits. I have no future. If I don't fucking 
do this shit and do it hard now, my life is over. I have no resume. Boom! There it is, baby! The future is now. It's now or never. I better retire in seven years. Well, that's not necessarily true. Uh, I have the most powerful community management resume. I dare someone to go to college for community ma management and try to match what I put on my fucking thing, which is what I've done the last eight years. I fucking dare them to step into the same employment room as me for interviews. All right, if it came down to that, I fucking dare them to step up to me. That's my that's my plan if Twitch ever fell off. Like my like anything like this fell off is just like, yeah, I mean, I fucking already built. I did it by myself. I didn't need a brand to help me. I didn't need advertising to help me. I fucking actually did it. So like easy. Yeah, but Tamir, do you know about theoretical community <laughs> management? Well, isn't that being in like a like a community that's unsuccessful? Isn't isn't that isn't that just theoretical community management is one that's just not good? It's called being a Discord mod. Fucked up, dude. Fucked up. Fucked up. Fucked up and not true. Ban that person. Mods. Get them. I allow you to. Shut You shut your filthy mouth. I can and will kill you in Minecraft. Bro, it's extra scary because scientists just confirmed yesterday that Minecraft is real. They just proved it yesterday. You better watch it. Like SAO real or what? Real. Turns out it's somewhere in Brazil. They found it. They found Minecraft. It's in Brazil. Deep in the Amazon. All of it. <laughs> Spleef is real. Dude, that'd be a fucking... Alright, of all the Minecraft game modes that ever came out that I think would be fun in real life, if there was a way to do Spleef in real life and fucking make people fall eight floors to their fucking death, alright, if they don't hop on the fucking... If they don't dodge well enough, damn. We gotta... We, look, I, I'm not... The name needs to be reworked. But I know that, like, they do stuff like, you know, wipe out and shit like that, where there's, like, people running through obstacle courses. They need to fucking bring Gary's Mod Death Run into real life. They need to have someone pressing the fucking buttons to take people down. Okay, that shit would be fucking gold. Maybe not death in it, but it could probably rework it so it's not death. That's Takashi's Castle. Uh... Is it? I mean, there. I'm sure Jap Japan has done it. Uh, I'm actually truly not surprised that Japan has done it. If that's the case, uh, Japan, Japan's game show market. Uh, wow, it's almost embarrassing to be another country, as far as I'm concerned, when it comes to game shows. It, it must be fucking embarrassing to be <laughs> to be another country's game show creativity department. Kinda cringe. Dude, Ninja Warrior fricked. 
Yeah, back in the old days where like some fishermen would show up out of like a bog in Japan and be like, what's up? I, I haven't trained for this, but I fish. I'm a fisherman by trade. And then you just watch as he thrashes everyone and breaks like the record by 30 seconds and is just like, what's up? All I do is fish. All of my muscle power and stamina came from fishing. He do be fishing. That was back when like it like all that shit fucking blew my mind as a kid and I was like, ninjas are real. Ninja is real. Mama, Papa, the ninja, he's real. There was a G4 show that did extremely hard shit. Uh, I remember back when there was a G4 show. And then they brought the G4 shows back. And then they took them away again. G4 dead smedge. Like you fucking really care though. <laughs> like, like, I, it's, it, I don't know what else to say. If you really cared, it would have stayed. If you had, if a lot of people like bring G4 back and then it came back and then no one watched it. I was what I never said, bring it back. Okay. I watched it when I was younger. I never said bring it back because I knew what would happen and it did. So now we just have more people sad. All, all it did was make more people sad again. People only like missing things. They don't appreciate it when it's there. They only like it when it's gone. Okay. Just like tomato Pepe hands. Wait, what are you to but you're here now. But you're here. I'm not gone. I'm not gone. I'm not gone. Is this some like Is this like some kind of like sad paranormal kind of like like ghost of Christmas past or future thing where I realize now I'm not really here and this is all some kind of like lesson I'm learning. <laughs> uh. I believe in fairies. That's cool. You know what? You know what pisses me off about that though? It reminds me of Neopets, the darkest fairy. Can we? Can we like time that person out? No, please. I said please. I don't know who they were, where they are. I, please. That sounds like a you problem. Now, that might be the fucking absolute worst thing you want to see a mod on your fucking channel say to you as a streamer. That might be the worst one. I can handle no. I can handle fuck you. I can't handle that sounds like a you problem. When you ask your mod to fucking do something and they say that's a you problem. Streamer issue. <laughs> huh. I got a little bit more into God of War. Uh, still enjoying it. I decided that, uh, turns out, the issue is that if you press lock on, the game gets worse. Uh, I stopped using lock on entirely and the game got more fun again. Uh, so that was my mistake. I'm not spoiling anything, obviously. And no one else should either. Uh, but boy, oh boy. Don't use the lock-on. The only reason you use the lock-on is to use ranged attacks. Uh, 
because that's like it's like cheating you really can just instantly it and you'll never miss but uh yeah i've been enjoying it i don't i won't have the chance to play it for like another day now because i got stuff going on i i got stuff going on this evening after possible D D. and if D D doesn't happen tonight i'll be missing the next session possibly unless i end up rescheduling my surgery because uh Brett's got no power, so I might be whiffing the next session if it doesn't happen tonight, because Brett wanted to reschedule it to, like, Monday, but someone's whiffing that, so next Thursday would be it, and if I end up having surgery, let's just say the odds are 50-50 uh, that I'm able to be present for a session of D&D the evening of my surgery. I, I don't think that I'll be, like... Obviously, I'm not going to be like if if the surgery goes through that day. I don't move it around. It happens on next Thursday. I'm not going to be like fucked up, but I don't know what what happens to my brain on like painkillers, like prescription painkillers. <laughs> I just don't really know if I want to like commit to like being present on something if I'm going to be on prescription painkillers because I likely will be the first day. Playing D and D on Vicodin, <laughs> basically. I'm still surprised you did D and D with peak COVID. I don't bluff when I say I think I might be the perfect D and D player for any DM. As far as attendance is concerned, I will do fucking almost anything to be there for you as close to a hundred percent as I can be. And the what ta what it takes for me to whiff it. Is daylight savings fucking everything? Or me actually having surgery? <laughs> Those are it. <laughs> right, I'm a fucking dork, okay? Yes! But yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna think over the weekend if I wanna move my surgery a little bit, cause. I got the tingles, they're not going away. But ever since I started just saying like, hey, don't bend my elbow anymore. Um, it's gotten way better. It's gotten like way better to the point where like the only time I feel the tingling now is if I actually focus on my pinky and ring finger. So I might push it, I might be like, can I reschedule it to like December? And then if it keeps going away, I'm just gonna cancel it and like plan on looping back around on it if it comes back i don't know i'm gonna fi i'm gonna like hyper focus on figuring that out over the weekend because i mean if i don't have to have surgery i'm not gonna have fucking surgery on like something that's gonna fuck up my ability to work it will go away copium it's so fucking hard dude because it's barely there and it's go it feels like it's going away and i swear i have like psychosomatic tingles because I'm getting them on my pinky finger and ring finger on my other side very slightly and I I I swear I don't want to have I, I'm not in the business of like it's just very difficult because it's doctors telling me that it will be permanent damage if I don't deal with it eventually and don't have it dealt with as soon as possible but the thing that I'm having dealt with is also going away, it feels like. So it's like, I'm getting surgery for something that might go away and feels like it's going away. So it's like, I feel like the responsible thing is to push it back by like two, three weeks and see if it gets better. And if not, then two, three weeks does not change the correction. It doesn't, it doesn't affect any part of it. Do you want to risk it? Well, that's what I'm saying is pushing it back two or three weeks doesn't affect any part of the permanent damage thing. Like the people that are getting permanent damage from like an ulnar nerve being compressed are people that are dealing with it feeling like their funny bone is activated literally 24 seven. Those are the people getting permanent damage. Mine's like microscopic tingles. So I'm tempted to like just reschedule it by a couple weeks because it would also time out better with my life. You would know. Yeah, I mean, I asked a lot of questions while I was at the doctor about like, well, how, how, what's the actual like end goal of this if I don't get surgery? And they're like, it'll just get worse and worse. But it's like, it's not getting worse. 
So I'm like, I'm just trying to be, I'm trying to be smart about it. I'm trying to be smart about it because I don't think just getting like willy nilly surgeries in my elbow is uh, a smart idea either if I don't feel like it's exactly necessary. If the thing that they're saying is going to get worse isn't getting worse, then I'm like, hmm, I got till Monday. Surgery isn't a joke. I don't really want to, I don't really want to like be fucking knocked out and have a bunch of shit done to my body if it doesn't feel necessary, you know? So I'm going to think about it. I'm going to have to check my horoscope. <laughs> Don't worry, your insurance has your back. <laughs> That's, all right, I'm saying a lot of stuff, but if you wanna know the one thing that made me really be like, I don't know if I can do this yet, it was my insurance fucking whiffing like three appointments and denying payments to all of them and getting me a bill for like, what came out to be $1,200 today. And I was like, uh, hey, what's up? You can't be whiffing those. These are all in network. <laughs> These are in network appointments. If I go into this surgery in a week and I come out with the same issue that they're having right now and they try to bill me for 10K or some insane shit, I'm going to have a panic attack and die. So I'm also like thinking like maybe I push it back a couple weeks and make sure whatever the fuck is going on is like dealt with if there's some weird error i want to make sure it's pushed through because uh i can't handle that kind of stress i really if anything this elbow thing isn't gonna fuck up my life more than the amount of stress i soak up on the daily uh i have no doubt in my mind that my life expectancy has been drastically shortened over the last five years from anxiety and stress and, uh, boy, oh boy, going into a surgery that I'm only 50% confident will be will, like actually paid for by my insurance would probably just kill me on the spot. <sighs> Stop eating shallots. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I'll know about, I'll know about what I'm going to do for the surgery. On Monday. I'm not gonna I'm going to get it done. Make no mistake. I'm going to have it done by the end of the year. I just I don't know if I want to wait a little bit because it's not getting worse. And if it's not getting worse, it doesn't feel super urgent to have it done like next week. If I could have it done in December when I'm gonna be working less anyways, because it'll be the holidays. I'll ask again, what's a shallot? A good small onion. Also, Google is real. I actually prefer shallots over onions, and if shallots came in large onion size, oh my god. I think something about shallots are way more flavorful than onions. They have like such a more like complex flavor for cooking. Bro. Also, I got a dude. Lawman made a tier list after Joe did me so dirty, and then re re rescinded his his doing me dirty, and then did me dirty again. Uh, Lawman made another one about uh like good roommates, and he put me in the like great roommate tier, which is appropriate. I would have been abs. I would have been like totally weirded out if he put me in like god tier roommate, because I would not be. And here's my logic. Here, uh, let me explain. Lawman pretty much hit it right on the head while I was like watching. And it was, um, I am like, I truly am extremely clean when it comes to like the areas of like shared living with other people. And I'm very considerate of other people at a point to the detriment of my own comfort and anyone that's ever stayed in like a, like a room with me for like a trip or an Airbnb knows that and would say that they see my they see me deteriorate uh, because I'm being so careful not to be a bother to anyone else. I would be the perfect roommate until I died about a week later. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be the perfect roommate until I died, uh, which would be because I was trying to not breathe too loud. 
so as to not bother the other person in like the room. And in trying not to breathe too loud, I would slowly uh, deprive my body of oxygen and die. <laughs> so, so I'd be the perfect roommate for about two weeks, but unfortunately after week two, I'd start to stink because I will have been dead. I will have been dead. And I will have started the decaying process. But yeah, nah. I I think there's also a category that Lawman could have made in that tier list, which is would never have a roommate, and that's me. I die before I went into a fucking like like a like situation where I had to have a roommate for long term. I'd die before that happened. Uh, that ain't me. I need my own thing. Living with anyone that isn't, like, your partner or family is straight up fucking torture, and I couldn't fucking do it. I literally couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do that. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Like, I think I could, like, I, I would make it comfortable for the other person, but it would be at the expense of my own comfort so much that I would literally never be able to do it. Ever. My boyfriend and I live in separate rooms. We can't even handle another loved human being. <laughs> There's a lot of there's a lot of stigma, I think, and like weird societal expectation. No, people yikes, and I'm like, nah, dude, I fucking get it. I I think as long as your relationship is healthy by your standards and your partner's standards, who fucking cares? Who who fucking cares? Like it's a lot of society being like, you guys gotta sleep in the same bed, same room, be around each other 24/7, and that's not how relationships work. People have different speeds they're comfortable with. And if that makes it easier for a relationship to work, then fucking right on, dude. It's better than putting stress on it by trying to force yourselves into, like, a position neither of you are comfortable in. Because, like, a bunch of people want you to conform <laughs> to, to what is to what is a normal quote unquote relationship format I get sick of people within about a day within about a day I've seen enough of one person and I don't want to see them again for the next day and sometimes that's a hard threshold. That's a hard thing to explain to the other person without them thinking that you hate their guts. Sometimes that's hard to explain because some people will get fucking real angry <laughs> or like confused. You really are a cat owner for real. Yeah, I like my cats. They don't they don't bother me. Unless they need me. Them some real introvert vibes. I still stand by the fact that I think I'm... I'm, I'm, pr I'm outgoing at certain points. It's just that I also... I personally know... What makes me comfortable and happy... And it's that I got I got a bandwidth. I have a bandwidth of how much I can handle before I uh, am done. And up until that point, I can do whatever it takes and I can push myself far beyond that to make someone else comfortable or happy. But boy, oh boy, after about 24 hours of doing anything with anyone, I'm like, uh, help, help. I need to put on headphones and play like a video game for eight hours straight without talking to anyone. Please.
you are talking to us. Very different things. <laughs> very, very different things. Uh, very, very different things. I would also say that talking to like friends in a Discord call is a very different thing than uh, being in the same like room with someone. Because there's a threshold of like, it's difficult to detach and do your own thing when someone else is in the room, at least for me. At least for me, that's really hard. I like need, I need my own like full on space. Whether it be an Airbnb, hanging out with friends on like a trip, I like need my own room at this point or I like literally couldn't do it. Tomato social anxiety? That's not social anxiety. Again, like, I think, I, I think there's like a fucking, there's like a, I think so. I, that's not social anxiety. That's just having an amount of energy you have to, like, deal with other people. Like, everyone's got their own limit. I have social anxiety for certain things. Sometimes, sometimes when I leave a call with other people, I will fixate on the last thing I said and be like, why the fuck? What the fuck did I just say? Do I, what do I, oh God. And fixate on that for a couple hours. Like I'll do it. I, that sometimes just fucking happens, but that's not, that's not the same thing. I enjoy solitude and thrive in it. But I also sometimes enjoy being around people. I'm kind of like an every, I'm kind of like an every, everything person. I like a little bit of everything, but not too much. An ambivert, the, introvert, extrovert, ambivert. Who fucking cares? They're all. They all sound stupid. Okay, <laughs> they all sound stupid, and they rarely actually properly apply to anyone. And the fact that you had to invent ambivert had to be invented to describe what a normal person is is fucking goofy as hell and straight up getting comical at this point. Yeah, I'm a vert. <laughs> vert these nuts. Woo! That chat member fucking gets it. That chat member fucking gets it. Holy VIP, that man. Nah, I don't know how to do that anymore. Besides, I saved my VIP for my... At this point... If you're a VIP and I don't actually fucking know you, you are a, like, if I, if we are not, like, fucking personal friends, you are one of the rare few. And that's okay, I'm not gonna take away your badge, but, uh, I save that for friends now because I don't trust any of them with mod sorts. <laughs> I take, I save that for my friends because I'm not giving my mod sorts to friends. I know better. Boon. <laughs> I know better now. That won't be happening. The Joe incident. Joe wasn't the incident. <laughs> I've had few incidents with Joe. You wouldn't trust Dave with mod powers? There's no reason to give him that burden. I don't want mod powers in my friends' chats. Whenever I see myself as a mod in someone's chat, I'm like, oh boy, here we go. I'm up here at the top of the viewer list. When something bad happens, people are gonna go, mods? And I'm going to be in that fucking pile. I fucking hate it. I don't want it. I don't fucking want this job. Mods? Mods? Someone copied and pasted an ASCII dong right into the chat, bro, please! My chat experience! Help! Then demod or ban yourself. No. That's still me having to do work on their behalf. I will never
never unmod myself. Okay? You think I'm in the business of doing shit for my friends when they're the ones who gave me that work to do? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Make some bad pulls. Uh, true. True. Hates the responsibility, likes the power. I don't like the power. I don't want the power. I don't, I don't want the power. I don't need the power. All right, I'm powerful enough. I'm powerful enough. We all saw it when I influenced the levels we played in TTT like seven times in a row. Okay, I watched everyone pick a level and then I said, I want to do the bus one. The bus one had a big update. And then I click on the bus one and everyone be like, the bus one and go do that. I have the power. Okay. I want to play. I lost it at Pig Island. Pig Island was a misstep. I, I should have known Pig Island was a misstep. I lost a lot of uh, like a lot of faith on that. After that one, people stopped believing my influence a little bit. But uh, I I'm a look. I'm not gonna toot my own horn here, but I'm possibly one of the best social hackers in the friends group. I I know this. I know this. If Joe made a game gamer tier list off of just like deception games, off of, off of just people's ability to just manipulate their friends, the people that uh, pe the people around them that they care about without care in the world, I'd be up there. <laughs> if there was a tier list for uh for for just being like a real gaslight piece of shit. <laughs> I'd be up there, dude. All right. I'd be, I'd be, I'd be up there. S rank. Super legendary. Didn't they, didn't Among Us VR come out today, chat? Didn't, did, did the, uh, did the Sus game come out in VR now? Yes. Is it on Steam or is this like a fucking like Facebook meta metaverse exclusive? Oh fuck, baby, that's awesome, dude. Fuck yeah, dude. You got hang on, cancel this. We're switching over to Among Us VR. Uh, screw this game. Just playing Among Us VR today. Look at the fidelity on this image. Look at the fidelity on this cell shaded image, dude. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. A little sus. Yeah, I haven't played Among Us. I think I'd be, I don't know. You can already play TTT in VR. <laughs> you can already do it. It's out there. It's got a down, it's got a negative review that says this game copied Among Us, which is fucking really badass. That was a good joke. That was a really good joke to pay $10 for. Hey, bro. You haven't refunded it. You paid $10 for that joke. And it was fucking funny. I think everyone knows that. Everyone knows that. There is like a million games that are the same as Among Us. Yeah, true. That bit was worth every cent. We know this. We, we all know it. Paid reviewer. You think? It seems like most people haven't been able to play the game, so they're just giving reviews of the game in... in... 
<laughs> okay, I'm gonna be honest though. This, hang on, this is actually, this looks kind of funny though. I, I, I don't think this is gonna be something that I seek out unless like the entire gang was like, I want to play fucking Among Us in VR. But uh, there's one image here that I'm kind of like, okay, that looks kind of funny. There's probably better versions of it on VR as well. But there's someone uh, in an event right now peering out, looking at a guy staring right at him. That looks good. I mean, like, in, in VoIP, that would be fucking funny. But I don't know if there is, like, in-game... There's, like, the VoIP when you're probably, like, at the gr like the big table. But there's probably... I don't know if you're going to be hearing people talk in the... I don't know. The point of VR to me is that there has to be proximity VoIP active the whole fucking time in a multiplayer game. To make it as funny as possible. And if that doesn't happen, I don't want to fucking play it. Okay? I need to have, like... I need to hear, like, Boone or whatever right across this vent yelling, Why am I in there? Why am I in there? And then yelling for help. I need to be able to hear that. Or what was the point? You know? And it better be echoey. More dev time in VR multiplayer games should be invested into the VoIP than any other part. I need to really believe that I'm there. I need to know I'm in there. I don't know about that. Well, that's okay because I know about it and I know more about VR than you. Simple as that. Here's my credentials. I hand you my credentials. I take them back before you can read what they say. You get all that? I put it back in my pocket. He is power gaming. Toxic boys roommate tier list when I'm not going to get involved in. Okay, here's the thing. It's all fun in games right now. It's all fun in games right now. But at some point, someone's going to make one of these tier lists from our friends group. That is going to be. The one that makes people actually upset. Truly. And I'm not interested in being the one that does that. Okay. Plus, looking at the list, there's a lot of people in there I don't know at all. Because uh, I'm not as active in the group thing that they used, that Joe used to pull. So, like, I don't want to, I don't want to be taking swings at people I don't know that well. There'd be a lot of question mark, I don't know this person's. At least not well enough to rank them. But think of the clicks. I ain't no react streamer. You understand? I ain't done a reaction since yet la like two or three months ago when I made a tier list for I don't I think it was cheese. Okay, I ain't no tier list react streamer. Yeah. All S rank and then Joe. I'm not gonna do Joe dirty like that. All right. Joe might have been wildly biased and for some reason fixated on keeping me as some great filter for gamers, and that's fine. That's validating in and of itself. All right, on his. That every single person he put in for the rest of that fucking stream was being based off of where I was. Okay. But I'm not gonna do him dirty like that. I'm not gonna fixate on things like that. Because I don't want him to own me in D&D. Alright, he's in a position of power over me. I don't want him to like, dist like just totally own me. Hi, Tomato. I love Death Road to Canada. Thank you for playing this. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, I mean, you're, you're welcome. Uh, oh fuck, I gotta look up where the game save is. I gotta, I gotta wipe the save. I forgot. That was like the whole reason why I turned off the game. Hang on, let me grab the dev name. Okay. Ba 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 ba. Not there. Mm. Not there. Hang on. Probably in local. The save data is in any of these folders! <gasps> oh, not the registry! Not the registry! I'll have to check for the game name. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes they label it under the game name instead of the uh, dev name. So. Found it. <laughs> uh, uh, we got there, folks. Delete it and take the game off of the cloud. Dude, I st I'm still tilted about the goddamn registry save. Holy shit. Good news is this game doesn't have a uh, cloud saving, so we're good. This is a horror game, horror adjacent. Um, I'd put it in the same kind of realm as that Ratum, that rat horror game that we played with all the funny deaths. In that, like, we're going to be playing a game where if you die, that's the only way to save the game is to die. It's a trial and error horror game, kind of like uh, the house game, where you have to find out how to beat it, and things progressively like change as you die and do new things and experiment. It just came out. I reckon it's going to be a good time. I'm going to go to the bathroom, and then we're going to get in there. But I will turn on the music. I will turn on the game. You're back. Most important thing right away, we're gonna check the options. We gotta uh, make sure the options are, uh, you know, good. Light level inside anglerfish, we'll keep it normal. Difficulty, ultra fucking hard. Mouse cursor, huge. Controls. Uh, if you want to change them, it looks like we're gonna need a screwdriver. Okay, so we can change the controls if we want. We're just gonna need to do some shuffling around on the keyboard. All right, it makes sense. I'm gonna make the mouse cursor small again. Psych.
anyways, let's get on in there. Something special will happen three times in the game depending on what you choose now. Okay. Make your choice with great care. Okay. <sighs> All right. Lay it on me. Which donut do you want? Oh, fuck. I definitely not this one. I think we all know the weird blue and green one. This looks like it's covered in like fish eggs. I'm not eating that. Uh, this one's chocolate with sprinkles. Or like pink. I take the chocolate with sprinkles every single time over the pink one. Mainly because I don't, I just don't, I like chocolate. I like the chocolate flavor. That, this reminds me of like Pepto. Yeah, it literally reminds me of like Pepto. I'm not gonna fucking eat that. I'm not fucking eating that. Chocolate. This game only saves when you die. Okay. C64 Game Pass. Yo, we got access to some of the classics, Dwarves in Space. I wanna play that. Waiting for other players to join may take a year. Look, it's a new, it's new hardware. There's people, it's like trying to get into a multiplayer game on PS5. There's no one out there. There's no one out there. They're not out there. The wait's long because there's no one on the other side. Uh. Hit guy hits back. I'd play it. Okay. Can't. The ER. Patient Typhon. Is no longer part of the service. Buy it on Steam. Oh. What the bowling? You need to buy 10 berries to play for free today. Nine berries equals $100. Well, I'm just going to quit. Happy... Happy 12th birthday. I guess I'll... I guess I can only play this guy. Choose which of these Let's Players to be your voice. Okay. Chat, so what the plot of this game is, for context, is a really cursed bachelor party dare gone wrong. You're gonna see very quickly that there's a cup. There's gonna be a lot of guys, all right, going to a bar. Dressed up in silly outfits. Uh, but first I have to choose my Let's Player voice. Oh, thank God, none of them are Markiplier. Okay, these, they are, I, I actually, when I was testing, I did find out these are real Let's Players. They exist, they're out there. But I'm going to judge them critically because I know none of them whatsoever. I'm going to judge them critically only off the sound that their fucking voice makes right now and give them a one out, like a one out of 10 score uh, for their entire personality based off the sound of the high. Uh, ah, ah! Lock the mouse! Chad, are you alive? Hi. Hey, hey, hey. You're okay now. I locked the mouse. That won't happen again. Hey. Nope. Hate it. Hate it. Absolute. Uh, two out of ten. I don't want my guy sounding that, like, oddly sensual with the hey. Hate it. Hi. Mm, that one could be good. A little. Mmm, uh, that one's a maybe. Hello! Absolutely too much. Scottish Geek, take it easy. Take it easy, okay? What the fuck? Slow it down. F tier. <laughs> hey. Hey, let's get spooked. That's a fucking solid one right there. Simple, to the point, doesn't go overboard. <laughs> C out of 10. Hey, hello! Hi. 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 Doesn't sound like Joel wants to be here today. <laughs> Doesn't sound like Joel wants to be here. All right, I don't think anyone's gonna, uh, that's ex average, but it sounds like Joel doesn't even wanna be in the room. Reminds me of me, and I play games to escape me. Okay, so I won't be doing that, I don't think. I don't think anyone's gonna be doing that one. Let's be honest. I. Hang on. I. I. Sounds like they cut off halfway through the high. 
Hi. 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 What about, what about, what about Bat Prince over here? Cause this guy, look, it seems like a disqualification. It seems like the audio got cut off here. We'll go to this guy. Greetings. Damn, that was a curveball. That's not what I'm expecting, but a little bit. Sometimes you get, sometimes you get surprises out there and you, you get to enjoy different, different paths that perhaps you didn't expect. Greetings. Greetings. Oh, hello. Hate it. Not your fault, a hula noob. But I hate it. I hate it because I had to look at this guy when that happened. I hate it. Hey. We're gonna go with let's get spooked. Hey. I think let's get spooked is a nice central choice. I like let's get spooked. Okay. Hi. Or dude run. We're down to let's get spooked or dude run. I think those are the two I that, that that I think brought the most to the table. Hi. Hi. Hey. I'm gonna go with Dude Run actually. Hi. I think Dude Run's got some it's got some heart to it that I don't think Let's Get Spooked has. It takes a while to get there, but he's got confidence. It was passion. Hi. I think I would have chosen someone else. Oh, well, I, I mean, uh, my second choice was let's get spooked. My ears will show you when you can interact with something. Okay. Oh, all right. What's this? Oh, that's a picture of me. Texas chili parlor. Good to see you again. That's one of my best friends right there. That's one of my best friends right there. So short? Nah, the building's just very tall. I am a fully grown father of, of two. Um, and now I'm off to go to my, my buddy's bachelor party dressed up as what looks to be a Japanese schoolgirl. They're honking outside for me. I gotta go. I gotta go. Watch the watch the kids for me, bird. Goodbye. I'm gonna turn on this light. Bros, you know, that's... I'm just being a real bro out here, you know what I mean? Strip it, POV. <laughs> what does that mean? What the f- Oh! Based on a true story. Wow, they didn't they didn't do like based on a true story, oh, yeah. LOL, LMAO, not really. They really true story does. The groom. Okay, ladies. We're here. You really need to call us ladies, says Jarek. Who evidently is not in his outfit for the for the fucking bachelor party. You know, none of us want to fucking do this, Jarek, but at least we got dressed up in the right fucking thing. Okay, at least we got dressed up, Jarek, you ass. What are you, what are you wearing? What? Now who's going to be my best man? You know the rules. The lady who gets the most numbers wins the spot. This is fucking metal as hell. Okay. I'm definitely getting her number, says my guy, saying hi in the voice I chose. <laughs> you got till midnight to collect those numbers. Let the best schoolgirl win. <laughs> Guys, before we go in, who's going to be the designated driver? Sounds like you, Jerk. Sounds like, sounds like you. Great, it's a smoking bar. Now we're all gonna get cancer. Jarek, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy, Jarek. Okay, all right, let's, 
let's calm down. Let's all take it. Let's all take it easy. Okay. Here we are. Looks like uh Looks like, I mean, I'm um, let's 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 switch up the music a little bit to something that we're going to actually get some numbers with. All right. All right. All right. Hey. <laughs> they don't say much, huh? Well, let me. Hey, bud, you get any yet? Evidently, no. Well, what's up? What's up? Can I? Oh, she needs a drink. Hang on, I'll go get. I'll go get you one. I guess since you're just. Here you go, one one drink. Coming right up. Uh, Bud, uh, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out of my way. Right fucking now. All right. <laughs> hey, Jarek. This place is getting a one-star review, no chocolate cake. Jarek, it's a bar. What's your... <laughs> no chocolate <jockey> cake. <laughs> hey. Wait, what are you... What have you done? Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, Gerald. Get the fuck out of here. One number, please. One down. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Change the music. Payback. Yeah. What kind of trick we get some numbers with? That pick goes hard. Oh. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's midnight. I got one number. Hang on, maybe I can get some at the toilet. Oh, fucking Christ! I I I got my head ripped off. You must escape the anglerfish to get home. I don't remember you talking like that. But, uh... <laughs> you got it, parrot champ. Oh no. The loop begins. The loop begins. There's some shears on the ground. Well, um, I guess I'm gonna... First of all, I'd like to check out the toilet. Wow, look at this place. Nothing in any of these stalls, right? I could have gotten two numbers. Of course, Jarek lived. We don't know if he lived. We don't know. Is that a goddamn shotgun? Okay, they transformed. Use space to end someone's life. Yeah, I reckon that's what I'm gonna have to do. Every bar has one. Every bar has a shotgun. Thank God I know how to use this. With the with the one hand. God, this character's badass, dude. If only he wasn't wearing this absolutely ridiculous uh, outfit. All right. Fuck out of here. What the hell were you even thinking? You know how easy it is to take a life? No! Harold! It was just coincidence that we have a friend both named Harold and Gerald in this friend group, but he got for his head freaking ripped off. I won't let them get away with it. Where's Jarek? Jarek! Nice fucking try. Fuck out of here. That one's for Harold. 
Hey man, you got demons in your uh, bar. He's busy. I mean, he's not. He's probably not paid enough to deal with this crap. Dude, fucking chill out. I have infinite ammo. Calm down. Oh, ah! No! I yeah, I, I will ask you a few questions. All I want you to do is answer with a yes or a no. Can you follow me so far? Uh, no. I need my gun. I need my gun. Time to end some lives. What is this music? What is this? What is this music? What's playing right now? What is this track? A week with John Candy. Switch that. No. Ah, uh, no. Oh, let's just stick with John Candy. Hello? Bud? Where's the- where's my buddy? Hello? One less freak in the world. Hey, you dead? They're dead. Okay, so these guys can hear bones. Uh, crackle. That's cool. Good to know. Hello? This level's too... This is some bad ASMR now. This is some grody ASMR. Is that a cat? Okay, we've had enough of that. <laughs> I think they just like gave their mic to their cat. What's normal? Oh, bright, brighter, brightest. Let's keep it on bright. Hello? Oh my god, the fucking clown sounds is too- I'm going upstairs, I gotta change the clown sounds. If this is gonna keep happening, I'm changing the clown music. Fuck, I can't go back up. Wait. Huh? Fuck, he, the bartender closed the fucking hatch. We're gonna be listening to clown music until I die. What's happening? Oh. 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 Ah! <laughs> Scream! <laughs> Piece of cake, as simple as that. Hit the lever, move on with my life. All right. What is this place? It was just supposed to be a simple bachelor party. Is fucking pantry. An actually lovely kitchen. All things considered. If it wasn't for the creature currently chopping someone up, it's quite nice. Oh, fuck! I'm just so sick of it. The bu- if there is a jar or pot on a table, then you cannot shoot what is on the other side of the table. Did you notice that? Yes, you- yes, I did. Yeah, I fucking did. <sighs> Lock and load. Fuck out of here. Try to catch me, assholes! Once I enter maximum overdrive! Simple as that. See you later. I don't have time for small fry. 
All right, I'm gonna have to kill this asshole. Hey. I said hey. It's pathetic. What are you even cooking over here? Dead bodies? Gross. Oh my god! This is a better track. Nah, I like this one. Kratos looks different. <laughs> nice. Nice and true. Get her number. I think the game is off. I think the challenge is gone. What is this? Oh, fuck. Oh, are they following me? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. There's some kind of fucking hole. All these butterflies love me, though. They're hanging out. I want them. Come along, butterflies. Uh, oh. I think I just saw a dead body. Are there creatures in here? I thought I just saw a creature. I'm just collecting all the butterflies. Oh, wait, I see. I get it. Get in there, little guy. Okay, and now suddenly I can see perfectly, so I can know what I can find out what that body was I saw, because I definitely saw a body. Wait a minute. But I was the only one with that mask. That's That's not possible. That's me. But I'm me. Let's get the hell out of here. Hit the lever. Pass. Alright, we've opened a shortcut. Maybe this will stay open when we uh, end the day by dying in a bit. Not like I plan on dying. Okay. Not, not like dying is on the fucking list of things I'm planning on doing going forward. Hey. Oh. Help you. Help me. All right. Hey! Have you ever experienced a game that totally surprised you? Totally surprised me? As in, like, I didn't expect anything that it did? Hmm, totally surprised me. No, I don't think anything's ever totally surprised me because I do research. I, I know that a game is going to impress me before. Like, if a game is, like, truly something remarkable, I've already heard of it and already am expecting something out of it. it like, Frog Fractions or something like that may be for some people, but that was spoiled for me long ago. Stuff like that. So I don't think so. I actually think no. It would have had to have been when I was a kid. But, no, that never really... I'm too... I'm just too plugged in. No. Foolish dog. Stupid question. Dude, it's a dog question. The fuck's that mean? I can't answer the question to the dog genuinely? You mean it's a dog question? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Nah, where's my gun though? What is this fucking shining shit? <laughs> well done for the mercy killing that young man, sir. But what does sir get for trying to be kind? Brutally murdered? What have the world come to, sir? It is very good to see you, sir. Welcome to your safe room. When you try a new drink, sir, then I will learn what it does. What do you mean, you'll learn what it does? I promise that I will let you know what I learned next time we meet, sir. Do you wish for a drink before you go on your adventure, sir? Okay, over here we have Grim Reaper. Over here we have, uh... Monday Morning. And over here we have what looks to be Devil's Tango, which looks to be a breathing, living creature. I'll eat that one. I don't know what it does. 
I don't know what it did for me. I'm feeling good. I'm, I mean, stuff's going okay for me. Yeah, I think that drink didn't do anything bad to me. I'm not gonna let that fucking- I'm not gonna help that asshole next time. You did? You did. Help me. Pass. What the hell's this shit? Oh, what the hell is this? What is this? Triangle, circle, square. Wait, did it keep going? Triangle, circle, square. I feel like a child. Triangle, circle, square. Yeah, I kind of solved it. The fact I can still hear the fucking clown music. The fact that I can still hear with perfect clarity. It never ends. Kill me. You alive? Which one of you is alive? I gotta get to the break room. All right. This is the life. This is the life. All right. Caught a quick break. Did I just get sealed in? Looks like we're not getting out that way anymore. Oh, we looped too. Am I sure I didn't miss something in the break room? There's this rope here. Dude, don't fucking... Well, I don't like that he's spitting out water while he's in like the bath. Is he is he sipping bath water? You shouldn't fucking do that. Oh hey. Oh. Oh fuck! My gun's not. My gun wasn't working. Have you ever played Lisa the Painful? Yeah. I have. It's a very specific question, dog. Now let's see if we could fix your weapon, sir, so it does not jam again. Do you wish for a drink before you go on your adventure? Skeletons will smile when they see you. What? I thought my- I thought the drink made it jam. What do you mean? So my gun- Chat, so for the record, here's the thing about this game. It does that thing where like deaths is when you save, but things also change every time. So in that timeline, my gun jammed. And it might not ever again, apparently, is like how I think this game works. So I had a gun jam. So I died. Uh... I mean, I'm not gonna drink that. I'm gonna drink the one with the skull on it, the Grim Reaper. Oh. Do you often experience something unexpected in your everyday life? Every fucking day, as it, feel, it feels like lately. Hey, asshole, we need to talk. Uh, suicide is not the answer, sir. Do you wish for a drink before you go on your adventure? Why does it just fucking kill you? Is that what it does? You die. Okay. Well, what's Monday morning? Oh, you got- it's reversed my fucking controls. I can handle this. I don't need my controls to work to kill. Let's fucking roll. I can play with inverted controls. Oh fuck, no I can't. Uh, huh. Huh. Oh. I'm breaking all these, I don't know. I 
I'm breaking all of them. I don't know if it'll do something for me or what. You help me! Man, you help me! Ugh. Finally, free. Do you seek out the unexpected? No. Dog, I'm getting sick of the questions. Oh dear, oh dear, you are back, sir. Do you wish for a drink? Controls will be terrible. I mean, I'm gonna drink the one that lets Skeleton smile at me. I like that. I kind of like the idea of that one. Fuck out of here. Oh, they did smile at me. Did you see that? Oh, that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. They smile at me when they see me. What? Wait. Huh? What? Huh? But that. Huh? What? What? Huh? He? That don't make no. That don't make no sense. That. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the fuck out of here. What are you doing just creeping around behind that statue, you little ghoul? What? Fuck out of here. I had a vision tell me about that. Triangle, circle, square, we know what it is. All right, we all... Hi, are you a ghost? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, take it easy. What the fuck just happened? Hang on. Triangle, circle, tri... Oh, gotta be kidding me. Well, we solved it. See you later, asshole. He's trying to get me. Okay, well, here's how I own him. I'm gonna check the break room. Whoa! That's... That was my boy. That was my baby boy. I'm having a Kratos moment. Fuck out of here. Your baby boy had a sick beard. As he should. But... The bloodline of my people is incredibly powerful. Ah, oh, fuck. Ah, not again! The bones! I- I hate that skeleton! Do you ask- do people ask you what your expectations are? I don't know. No? People never ask me anything out of fear. And rightfully so. Don't give up, sir. I'm gonna take the smiling one again. I like it when the skeletons smile. Tomato, how are you today? Shut up. <laughs> and that's why nobody asks. All right. It seems like the patterns are changing in that room every time I go through it. Unless there's no ghouls anywhere now. Shut up. No one's gonna do that. Square, square, triangle. Let's fucking go. Oh! Square. I believe I just got turned to stone. Do you, do you wish people asked questions about your expectations? Dog, what the fuck is up with you? Like, I, I don't act, I don't really know. I mean, I get, I guess. But like people that I personally know, not like, you know what I mean. Dead again, sir. Shut the fuck up and give me the smiling skeleton drink. Shut your fucking mouth. And give me the drink that lets skeletons smile. Now. 
What's up? All right. Oh, I see. These are all like deaths that I've experienced. Avoid bones. We don't want to touch the bones. Everyone knows we don't want to touch any of the bones. Hang on. Hold up. No one can help you. Square, square, triangle, circle. It's getting more complicated. Okay. Square, square, triangle, circle. It's getting more complicated. Chat, we have exactly two more deaths past this door before this game is literally unbeatable. Fucking ambush me. Get out of here. Literally unbeatable. Check the break room. Looking good. More creatures. I will not be owned again. Fuck out of here. All right, we got there. What is this? Code is hidden on our website. But I see it right there. D-R... D-A-R-H. You gonna fucking hide it on your website? Uh... I don't even know how I punch in the code. Fine, I don't care what's in that room. Fine then. I step on this. It's not doing anything. I give up. There's a door down here. It leads to a... Nope. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I'm not doing that. <laughs> ah! You, it's gonna be one of those? Faster. What? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. All right, hang on. I'm gonna punch in this website. Let's see if I can find that fucking code. Hang on. Give me one second. I love that this game minimizes this crap. Professionalvillains.com A I The secret word in one of our games is HUND H-U-N-D We got him Ladies and gentlemen We got him I don't know how to punch it in though. Oh wait, hang on. I'm gonna punch it in, we got it. The secret word. Is home. We're in. Is this a fucking hospital? Where are we? Help. Some kind of egg. Don't know what I even do about that. I hit this button. So there's a rat over there holding a big comically sized key. Can't go through it. The door's moving too fast. What's up? <laughs> hey! Oh, whoa, 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 hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. 
The egg is open. And it went this way. Not much I can do about that. The exit don't work. Dude, die in, a le in like a more convenient way. I literally can't get past you. Hang on, they went this way? This guy just slaps you like a baby. That's fucking cute as heck. Right on, man. Slept like a freaking baby. Oh. You gotta get the fuck out of here. Shut up. There's a ghoul. Oh no, the rat. Hello? 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 Ah! Thank God it's stuck on this exact plane and can't get past me. Oh, it can't get me otherwise because it's stuck on wheels. Goodbye. We made it out of there. We're gonna be okay. We're gonna live. Is that just someone's spine? Alive? <laughs> Yo, you some kind of face hugger or like a spine? I don't have time for this. Can't go that way. That person's eating someone. We're gonna go around that, but there's a shotgun right there. I got time to grab it. Oh. I'm back here. I'm back here again. I have to get that fucking shotgun. I'll have to kite them away. We're gonna have to kite them away. I'm locked in until I escape. Hund. Or Hund. We're gonna have to escape the Hund realm. Oh no. The fucking... It got out! It was stuck to a, a 2D plane, but it escaped. That don't make any sense. Anyways, we need to go grab the gun now. End of the line. Freaking idiot. Time to take matters back into my own hands. By killing anything still alive in this evil fucking hospital. Help me. Shut the hell up. Help me. I said shut up. You too. You. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the lights went out. Weird fucking thing! Bathroom's clear. Nothing in here. Hallways. Looking relatively. Cuckoo guy's dead. Fuck! Where's the light coming from? My- it's my overwhelming confidence in myself. And positivity. Just shining off of me, like a beautiful ray of light. You did? Alright, we can get through the spawn zone. Come on. The rat's dead, but he doesn't have the key anymore. Doggy! 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 Dog, you're... Wait a minute. Did you, did you... Did you... I'm not gonna kill it. But I need to know where my fucking, like, stuff is. It was just an actual dog. Fuck, dude! No! No! I looked around, 
I saw ch the chests were like bur I saw this guy's chest was bursting open. I thought it was maybe. Oh, fuck. It's really just a whole room dedicated to how cute this fucking dog is. I gotta get out of here. Restart. It's just a dream sequence. None of it's real. Dog murderer. I'm not a dog murderer. You, you, you guys don't understand. Fuck out of here, you weird thing. Oh, 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 oh! My, I dropped my gun. I dropped the gun. Help! Ow! I think I tripped. Well, well, well. Look who looks like a fool right now. Can't handle the light, idiot. <laughs> Almost kind of sad. Look at you. Pathetic. <laughs> Slapped. Get out of here. What? It was all a dream. Just all one big horrible dream. Weird leg guy. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Why is it... Well, maybe if I touch the water, it's not that bad. Oh. I can see as long as I have a duck to shoot. So it's not that bad. I'm guessing if I touch any of this, though, it's going to get uh, really bad. I can now confirm that what we have right there is acid, not water. Hey, the dog has a funny hat now. If you were a dog, do you know what you wanted to do with your life? No. Fucking dog now. He growls at me. What a fucking asshole. Instead of swimming in the pores and lake, have Sir thought about hunting ducks? It seems like a more fun thing to do, sir. I don't want any drinks. I've had enough of it. The only thing I want is to win. Jesus, you're fast! Let's go. We got work to do. We gotta get deeper into the depths. Help, me. Help yourself. This is impossible now? It happened. It happened. It happened. <laughs> um, um, uh, it really happened, folks. <laughs> Playthrough's over. It's getting longer every time. Did it even end? Red. One, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, three, three, two, one, three, one, one, two, three, one, one. It's okay not having any doggy plans. Do you know that? Yeah, I know that. That's rough, buddy. Shut up! Oh, you shut up! Shut up. That's rough, buddy. With a R-U-F-F. I'm sorry to differ with you, sir, but you are not supposed to die there. Do you wish for a drink before you go on your adventure? 
Yeah, I'll take the smiley one. So this is a clown seed. We're gonna be okay, Jet, because this time the puzzle's gonna be way easier because I died. Get the fuck out of me! Can dogs better, are dogs better than cats? Uh, I don't know if that's really a, I'd actually say yes, but I have had more cats than dogs in the grand scheme. So who really knows? I say they're pretty, depends on what you're looking for in a pet, really. That's strange, sir. I don't have any recollection of you dying at all. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Let's do this by the books. Get lost. Tomatoes sold out to big dogs. It's not about that. It's not about selling out. It's just that you know, dogs have done uh, more for my mental than cats. But even still, I think there's a benefit to each. They're both cool. Can't help you. Please. Now that's a fucking puzzle we can get behind, folks. Let's get out of here. One, two, three. Break room's looking good. Don't step on the bones. Fuck out of here. We gotta be really careful with the acid. The acid section. Dude, I actually think the other side's safer. There's more ducks. I think the other side's a better side. More ducks to shoot on the other side. Let's go. so hard to do this. Go, 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 go. Fuck. Got it. We got there, folks. We got there. Shortcut's open. Let's go. Hello? Hello? Oh. This is, what is all this? That's me and my boy. That's me and my boy. What's, what the hell's this? That's me and my, my, my wife. I believe I saw her getting devoured by a creature. I get the weird feeling some of this might be happening inside of my head. Or they ate my wife. Open the door now. Can we go faster than that? What happened over here? Uh oh. I've been sealed in. Cool, thanks. Took you a while, but we managed to pull it off. What is that Nosferatu shit? You dead this time? That fucking asshole really wasn't dead. I hate him. I hate him. Do you agree that some of the best things in life are unexpected? Fuck no. <laughs> no, better tell me. Better tell me life. Better make it fucking clear what's up. 
When one of those devils is down on the ground, sir must stick one's shotgun down their throat, blow their head clean off. It's the only way they will leave you alone, sir. Trust me, I know. Whoa, new drinks. We got a new one. I'm gonna sip it. Well, I don't know what this did for me, but it was called Hermes. Is that a living mint? Well, this is gonna be easier, way less scary. Fuck out of here. Oh, I just pet him. I died. Do you agree that some of the things that hurt the most in life are unexpected? Oh, uh, yeah. You had to die in order to survive, sir. Do you wish for a drink before you go on your adventure? What was this then? Enemies will move faster. So you're telling me that it had nothing to do with them looking like mints? So you're telling me that it had nothing to do with them looking like mints? Okay. I'm gonna eat the headless chicken. Okay. They're still mints. Fuck. It seems I've entered a strange realm of the video game. This is the hardest fucking version of the game ever. I... If I said that I think you have beautiful fingers, would that make you feel uncomfortable? Honestly, a little yeah. Also, are you now a guy uh, dressed up as a dog growling at me? I'm not drinking anything this time. I've had just about enough. I've noticed, sir, you've been killed by vampires a lot lately, therefore I prepared a vampire shield for you. It can withstand an attack from a vampire. Well, thank you. Head graphics will not be displayed. Okay. Oh my god, now it's clown level two. Get down from there! Had enough of it! I had- I actually got Luigi- God damn it! I need- It even squeaked! I hate it. Get me out of here! <laughs> Fuck out of here! We're gonna win the game this run. This run's the one, baby. Now I can tell you one thing for sure. This one's the one. This is the one. This one's the one where I, I finally finished the whole game. You're about to have your mind blown, man. I'm about to finish the whole thing. Hell yeah, man. All right, I'm gonna just go to the bathroom. Oh, fuck. Hello? I heard the sound of a guy. <laughs> Fucking gnome? I'm sorry, are there just gnomes? In the levels? Whew. How did I die last time? This guy was laying down. Fuck out of here. Kill him! Bang! Get out of here! Oh, another break room. Thank fucking God. You will find a code in a safe in the free game Hunting Huber. Listen, I was willing to go to your fucking website for this one, but chat, I'm gonna need someone to find me that code. Go play their free game. Find it for me. I'm busy playing their other game. I'm gonna eat this ice cream. Good ice cream. I 
Okay, I've had enough of it. Hello? Oh my god, it's the Vampire's Gamer Zone. Oh my god. Piece of shit chairs. They're not good chairs. They're just not good chairs. Hello? This one's just pictures of a doggy. Fuck you out of here. I hate that they're going shh every time I see the weird. What is this? That's a picture of me and all my friends. That's a. They're all there. Even Tintin. <laughs> Even Tintin. Even fucking Tintin made it, man. I'm just not gonna worry about that. <laughs> End of the line. I want that coin. How do I get it? Wait. Oh my god. The banana. The banana. Well, I just actually, my brain was just like banana. I saw a donut and I thought banana for some reason. I don't know what the fuck. Oh. My brain's. I got goo brain today after all the fucking insurance crap, dude. That's all right there. That looks just like a banana. <laughs> He's turning into a minion. So this is the donut room I picked. Do I have to... What do I have to like... What do you want me to do here? I can't do it faster than that. We are timing this perfectly. Oh, what? Hey. You're going the wrong way. What? Huh? Donut room. Hey. Help. Ah. Uh, now, here's the situation. What do you want? I said to cheat. Wait, hang on. How did I do it? Oh, it opened up a door over here. Okay. We're good. We got past the donut room. I got the key. Let's get the fuck out of here. Stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, 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 thank you. Anyways, I must be going. Where's that weirdo? Is 
Sounds like a someone else's problem. I gotta get this like coin. We got it. That's two dollars. a gnome you will you try to find the rest of them yeah probably someone stop that guy I'm uh gonna be down a gun this run by the looks of things oh I found it locked and loaded now that I'm armed, it looks like this game has no chance to stop. Oh, fuck me! Ah! I knew none of you were real. I knew it. Shut up. Easy. None of these zombies are real. That's something I learned. Fucking clown music. So I haven't seen any gnomes up until like the deeper parts. So I'm curious if I'm missing them or not. You're not real. See? Told you. Told you, man. Fuck you out of here. So I need the key to open that. Which means I have to go in here. Through all this mess. We cannot get got by the guy. That means don't get... Don't get tricked by the coin. The coin is a trick. It's gonna piss me off later. Get that knocked over. We can't get tricked by the coin. It's gonna be how we die. We're obviously gonna have to run through all this mess, fleeing the monster. All right, let's use our head. We already got the coin. See? Thanks. Where is he? He's not here. Cool. Epic. Let's get the fuck out of here. It's good he's not here. I would have kicked his ass. Oh my god! Not the chairs! Help! Fuck out of the way! Dude, you guys are being real rascals about this. Oh! Let's get the fuck out of here. Break room's closed. Plan on keeping on living. Fuck out of my way. My guy's a little scared. He's a little spooked. He's not having a great time. But what do I fucking care? I'm having a great time. I'm in my element. Thriving. Moisturized. Ready for fucking anything. Are you? Why would you be having a good time? Because I'm streaming. I'm enjoying my. I'm enjoying my job. I'm uh, playing a fun game. I'm listening to clown music. 
but you're stuck in hell. It's a it's a video game, Katie. Katie, we need to sit down for a second. We need to sit you down. This isn't real life, okay, Katie? <laughs> this ain't this ain't real life, okay? This is a video game. <laughs> This is this year's a video game. Do you want me to snap? Hmm. Dude, I am winning. Hang on, what is this? Is that a fucking thwomp? I ain't doing that. We can't go back. Fuck. I've left the confines of the level, and I'll see you later. I and thus I left. Oh yeah, this is all in my head, dude. Look at that. Half the puzzles we're doing are like fucking presents from dead. What is this? Guess I'll swamp. <laughs> what was I thinking when I did that? I made you feel uncomfortable. If I say I'm sorry, will you forgive me? Yeah, sure, man. Why did I thwomp? But why did I thwomp? But, but why? I feared that you would run into that thing, sir. No, I don't need any script. <coughs> this ain't the bathroom I remember. Kaiju. In the building. I'm looking for gnomes. Kind of, kind of just. See, I needed to do this so I could get the uh, the statue, obviously. Okay. I had to do it so I could unlock the statue. Copium. You think I accidentally walked onto that swamp without meaning? Without like a purpose? Really? Really? You already had it? No, I didn't. Did you? This guy just put his hand out to block me? No fucking way. Okay. I actually got my body blocked. I, I, he actually body blocked me. Wait, so what does... What is the point of this? Because there's a door here. Funny button. You think it's a funny button? Help. Oh well. I'd have to put on plenty of pounds to be able to put make that door fucking open. I'm just not huge enough. Oh well, nothing we can do about it now. Let's just go. Small man, not big. You're not real. Excuse me. Excuse me, snake. The logical contradiction found the code for the ice cream break room 0421. Well, that's conveniently timed.
Oops. Son and... No. Yeah, it's a metal... It's a steel door. You're not breaking through that. Uh-oh. Okay. So what killed me last time? I was it was the thwump. I believe I got thwumped. The lights! The lights flickered. Couldn't see. Didn't know where I was. Didn't know what was happening. Didn't know where I was. Didn't know how to react. And I got thwumped. I got thwump I got thwumped really hard, man. Really fucking hard. Got my way out of there again. I'm not stepping on that fucking thing. I won't fucking do it. You'd have to be a fool to step on that. All right, break room time. Yep. Now this is a real break. Now this right here. This here's a real break. Just the man fishing. I tried to press the button to pull it up. It did let me. I don't know if it's because I wasn't supposed to. I'm gonna just let the animation play out this time. We're gonna get this. I... Hello? You're goofing, there's no button. There's no button to do this. Chat, there's no button. I'm leaving the thing doesn't fix it. If I press space, it doesn't do it. E doesn't do it. Clearly it's F for fish. Shut up. It's not F for fish. It's nothing. You're meant to attach, you're meant to attach the fishing peripheral. I... I got it, I had to mash the button like a psycho. Son! It's gone. I had to mash it. Let's just go. What is all this? What is this? Ghouls! Die! No! I didn't hear no bell. What? Wait, what's he doing? Will you marry me? Brings a goddamn tear to my eye. If only I was, if only I still had them. If only I had to have my head ripped off. Damn. Go get him. We believe in you. Thanks, game. Do you think your task is too hard? A little. A little. Still giving this place a one star review. That was the true ending. <laughs> you think? Fuck out of my. Whoa! Shotgun's got an upgrade. 
You will win. You can do it. Don't lose hope. Thank you, skeletons. The game believes in me. Don't lose hope. Sorry, don't lose hope. One more time. Go get him. I'm going to win. You're the man. Almost there. I'm going to win. I know it. We're gonna win! Everyone's cheering me on! They all believe in me! Everyone believes in me. Baby mode. No, believe in you mode. Believer mode. Okay, there's no baby mode about it. I just have a lot of- I just have a large support group, okay? I'm sorry you don't have that. I'm sorry that you think that's being baby. Okay? Damn, that guy was actually real that time. One more time! Let's fucking do this by the books. This guy's already after me. I gotta wait for him to turn this corner to get to me. Cause he's running the whole lap to find me. Damn. That was a long run that guy took. That guy ran all the way. He did the whole thing. He must have been pissed as hell. It also seems like he might have been the only vampire in the whole tunnel. He was it. That was your wife. You can do it! Don't give up! Let's move. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here! Fuck off! I ain't losing today. Kill the last one for good measure. That one was my wife. <laughs> Ex wife. In another time, in another place. Been something. I'll pull this lever. I don't know what's. Wait, bro! You're alive? Great! We need to open that door to get out, but the price for opening the door is high. We have to sacrifice a human being. You probably already thought about who's in the back. It's Jarek. Who would even miss him? You wouldn't dress up like a Japanese schoolgirl like we agreed. True! You know what, dude? Fucking true. Alright, it was the one thing he had to fucking do. He wouldn't even do it. He wouldn't even do it. We have to pay the price to live. I chose this place, therefore I should be the one who has to live with the blood on his hands. So give me your weapon. Fuck no, pie. Yeah, fucking right. Going this way. This door will only open if Anglerfish has over 100 reviews on Steam. <laughs> well, where is it at right now? What about right now? Hang on. It has one. Well, no one's ever getting in there. Cool, we opened a shortcut. Fuck. My gun is weaker again. They weakened my gun. Oh no. This is most not good. I can't reach that guy to kill him. 
Fucking die already. Most ungood indeed. Get. This happened again. This ha the same things happened twice where a guy spawns when you get up there and kills you. Well, I opened the shortcut, so I'm not gonna do that ever again. Do you want to get a surprise in the bar? Well, fuck yeah, I do. What's up, Jarek? You're gonna die. It's amazing how fast you get used to dying, sir. Can I have the thing that makes the people smile when they see me? Oh, his hair is pink now. That is a surprise. One more time. Almost there. Don't give up. You guys are some of my best friends, you know that? Oh, fuck off. You guys are like my best friends. Please get a life. Says Katie. Wait, did Katie not say it? No, she said, please get a life. Did you just... What's that supposed to mean? What do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? You literally... I, I did not just get fucking straight up gaslit. I did not just get gaslit in front of everyone by my, by my moderator. What do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? You said it! What do you mean, what's that supposed to mean? Your tone? Okay, dude. Oh, okay, okay. What's that? Oh, I miss it when this was a straight line. Oh wait, it kind of still is. It was a, it was even more of a straight line. All right, we're good. Shortcut activated. Clown. I don't like it. I'm just leave that there. So what do I do about this? Nope. I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't want, I'm not giving this guy my fucking gun. Fuck, whatever. All right, dude, he killed me. Fool me once, shame on me. Okay, did I surprise you? No. That's not going to happen again. Now I'm mad. The skeletons have left. The skeletons are gone. They don't believe in me anymore. The skeletons are all gone. Even they don't think I can do this anymore. Oh, did I surprise? He was, the dog was asking if I was surprised by his surprise. Oh, your bet he's all sad now. That's not what I've. This. All right, is this. What the fuck does this mean? They're getting old. Everyone's getting, like, bored. Oh. Let's fucking go. Thanks for the help. I wouldn't fucking try it.
These butterflies are really in my face. Cool. Cool. And we're done. All right, I'm not giving that guy my gun again. I'll tell you what. Clown's gone. Hi. Oh. There's nothing in it. Yeah, no way I'm fucking doing that. I'm not giving you shit, man. Matter of fact, you get dead. Okay? Matter of fact, how about you get fucking dead? Jarek, are you dead? Jarek's also dead. Uh-uh. Um... Hey, you dead? Oh! That's what I get for thinking anyone is uh, in danger or not. Uh, that's what I get. It's what I get. I should have just shot them. So I could not surprise you? What if I turn everybody in the bar into bananas? Will you then be surprised? Yes, yeah, I mean, sure. Hey. I'm Mr. Duck and you are watching Duck or Fuck. I... <coughs> what? What? Hang on, actually, this is... It's important to note, chat, that this is a... If they're gonna censor it, I feel like it's kind of responsible of me to... You know... Do the same thing. Let me see if I can... Oh. Yeah, there we go. Duck or Fuck. Or f I can't do the cutoff though. I'd never be able to do the cutoff. Nah. I hate that. I hate that crap. They're the ones censoring. I don't have to. Will our contestant find his big love today or will he duck out? Hmm. If our contestant was a sweet little banana, what would you do? I would peel his skin off. What? It's the only way to be sure if he tastes sweet. I do not know sweet. I was trained to be deadly, not to be sweet. Stay afraid, Mr. Banana. Cause nighttime is the scariest of all. <laughs> Which date do you choose? Um, uh, one, this one said I wanted to peel my skin off. This one said that they were trained for combat, so they, do, they knew nothing of sweetness. And this one told me to stay afraid. I'm gonna choose two. What's up? Okay. Has that conversation turned out differently than you expected? Yeah. And I saw no bananas. In that fucking game. Okay. You've been a rather naughty boy, if I may be so bold, sir. What? I haven't done anything naughty. Make no mistake. I've done nothing naughty. Let's just go. It's gonna take me a thousand years to get back to where we were again. No one can. No one can, man. That is Mario in the floor. Chat, no way they fucking did that. You know Nintendo would kill them. No one's that fucking crazy. What, are you lost your mind? What are you... What are you, snapped? Yeah, right. There ain't no Mario. Cho Dodger 69. Thanks for the five gifted subs. Thanks. I oh. Give me this. 
It didn't really help me all that much, but I did appreciate it. All right, so here's the situation. It's blood in it. I don't care. There's blood in the cone. Fuck out of here. Pick him up. And this. To go. This time when I get here. Ladies. Okay. So currently I'm in some kind of horrible root system. Ah, uh, hi. Uh, I'd like to go home. Nice trick, but I'm not that foolish. I don't want to get hit by the slime. I know that for sure. You think I'm a fool? Whoa! That was a that was a close one. Nope. Nice try again. Nope. Never gonna happen. Nope. You're getting sloppier. Whoa! Pathetic. What? You still have one more move? I killed you. You're- Lady, you're cheating. Hey! That's bullshit! Should we turn the bearded bartender into a woman? Epic. Right on. May I offer a piece of advice, sir? When you shoot, you are vulnerable. Shoot only when you're sure you will hit something. How do- what do I do to become more powerful? Probably get rid of my head grips. Yeah. I fell over. Are you fucking laughing, asshole? Fuck you. He actually started laughing. Oh, it puts me here now. This game has some really choice checkpointing. Um, and like, uh, mechanics to make sure that you're not miserable. I very much like it. Very much like that. Because I was just reaching the point where I was like, eh, if I have to do that boss three more times, I'm gonna be miserable. Yeah, I got rid of my head. Now what are you gonna fucking aim for, idiot? Go ahead. Boom. Go ahead, do it again. Nice miss. We just can't go up or down. If we go up or down, we basically doom ourselves. I need to keep myself as centered as possible. Just gotta keep myself centered. We'll be okay. Dodged. Owned. There's one nice thing. Once she does her transformation to the next phase, anything in a diagonal technically doesn't count. I can't attack from those directions anyways. So I'm not too worried about that. They still can't trick me with it. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. They're healing. Pressed shot. I pressed shoot before I turned. Should we turn the bartender back? I mean, this feels like a. I mean, he didn't. He didn't ask for what was done to him, so it's probably the reasonable thing to do. So 
Sir, you are home. Do you wish for a drink? No, the head actually, I think, made me weaker. Asshole laughed at me last time I was here. Clown. I like the clown level. That's cool of you, clown, but it's not scary. Let me tell you why. I have a shotgun. It hurts so much each time you kill me. Do you want to turn? Now, you can't complain. Do you regret having this conversation? Specifically because of the reason we're having it, which is I had to kill myself in the game. You hurt his feelings. My feelings got hurt when I got shot with a shotgun. Okay. I'm done with the clown. Doggy outside. Doggy. Fuck out of here. All right, boss fight. <laughs> You're gonna get fucking owned now. I almost fell off at the very beginning of the room. Hey, you. Remember me? Speed this boss fight up. Nice shot, idiot. Pathetic. I just wish I could feel comfortable with going, like, doing the vertical attacks, because it just feels like I'm gonna end up fucking that up again. When it gets to, like, the harder part. Because I only get one shot. If I fuck up the input, I'm just dead. Hi. No bullet came out. Hi. Hi. We all saw. Have you figured out who I am? Uh, no. Is that a blank? I'm gonna need the shot. I'm gonna need a good gun this time, man. Give me the good gun. Don't worry, sir. I know all about dying. I saw it on TV. Dude, that wasn't even like a hitbox thing. That was a the gun didn't make the like it didn't make the thing. Something something went awry. Oh, hey, thanks. Oh, he beat me to it. Okay, let's go. I really like that this game is making me do all this stuff over and over again, but keeps going like, okay, let's speed this up for you next time. I do appreciate it. Like it started them at low health this time, which is very classy of them. It's a very well-designed loop game. It's very smart. Having that much consideration for people's time. I like that stuff. Whoa! Boom. 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 You can actually kind of tell where the guy is based off of the sound. Okay, health bar is getting a little wacky. The health bar is getting a little wacky. Um. Just die already! Oh, I know that for 
sure. Um. Can't go over to that. Guess I'm gonna go then. Looks like we... Looks like we done did it. All is planned. All right. Bye-bye now. This was a real time. See you later, Jarek. I was hoping maybe I could give it the chance to open. I guess I'll leave through here. Hermes had... I guess this was like a midway bar that I could have enjoyed. Was it always like this? No, it didn't used to do that. They changed it. I could have enjoyed that bar had I... Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Immediately thwomp self. So anyways, I broke out of there and I got thwomped. I instantly thwomped. Bad. Bye. Don't mind me. Later. What's up? I'll be leaving now. Badass, motherfucker. Badass. Let's do it again. Let's roll. God, I'm fucking cool. Kratos got hops. Yeah, I know it. You don't have to say it, because I already know it. Yeah, your purpose has just been completely made worthless. Your life without someone picking you up and putting back on, putting you back on that chain is over. Have a good l <laughs> Have a good day. So I guess I want to go this way. So I guess what I kind of want to do is take the perimeter around. Oh, there's a guy there. So I guess what I want to do is go this way. And once I get there, I'm going to want to go this way. Never mind, I'm going to want to go this way. And once I get there, I'm going to want to go this way. And once I get there, I'm going to want to go you know, this way. And then I'm going to want to go this way. Never mind, next I'm going to go up this way. And then, I'm gonna go this way. And then I'm gonna realize I went a circle. So I'm gonna go down this way. And then this way. And then I'm gonna go this way again. And I'm gonna realize that was a big mistake. I'm gonna go this way. I fucked up big time on this one. I think I'm gonna pay the price. Excuse me. Simple as that. Let's get the hell out of here. Still taking orders? He 
Is there like a reason my guys do? Oh, there is a key. Got it. Anyways, let's go. Come on. All right, no. I'm out of here. Uh huh. I know. I'll see you later. All right. I gotta get back to my kid and my. Let's just go. I'm okay. I lived. No one dies to stuff like that. One last break room. Hey. Give me this! Freak! Jump down already, you- Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! Oh! We're fine. Ah! No, not to do for you, man! You as good as dead! I don't even know this room. I didn't even know this room existed. Damn, I fucked up. Oh. 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 Hey man, I just thought I'd let you know that I'm giving this place a one star review on Yelp. You gotta be fucking kidding me right now. You really gotta be kidding me. You did not just fucking do that to me. No fucking way you just did that to me, man. You know what? I'm just going home. Ow, fucker! Well, this has gotten a lot darker uh, since last I was at the anglerfish. How's the toilets doing? Not good. Hey man, can I have my gun? Try to stay calm next time, sir, so you don't lose your head again. Yeah, thanks for the gun. That's new. What the fuck was that? No, I'm going after it. What was that? Never mind. We can't go to it. Whatever we saw, it's gone now. Whatever that thing was. Why do I feel like there's a gnome in here? Cause there is. There he is. That was, it was a gnome. A little guy. Is that Chris Pratt? Help me. Help me. Hmm. Help me. Okay, let's go. We have to finish the fight. I just wanted to see if I could maybe help him one more time. I just wanted to see if I could help him. Because I know he's been begging for it all fucking day. Okay, so no one can say I didn't try to help him one last time. For all time's sake. Okay. Creature. Be gone. Don't 
don't care about what that is. Already got the... We're looking for one more gnome. There's one more gnome in these halls. Shut up. We already know the combo. It's right there. This ain't rocket science. But where's the gnome? Where is he? Ducky. I bet he's in this room that I don't know how to open. If I had to bet, he's in that room. That I don't know how to open. Why am I even going back down here? I don't like the look of that thing. I keep seeing it in my nightmares. In my most horrible dreams. I see that weird creature. And he's all wiggly and jiggling around like a freak. Yeah, we get it. You're in there. Now, the question is, why am I doing all this again? You know what I mean? Like, why am I... Oh. Oh. So the guy Thwump It's looking for gnomes at this point Really that's all it's about No gnome I bet the last gnome's in there What's up weirdo Just checking. If the gnome's about, I need him. You gotta leave a hundred reviews, streamer. Thanks, man. Gnome? Gnome. I can't jump down yet. Damn. That was epic last time. Alright. Couldn't find the last gnome. Hey. You're not the lady I saw before. Oh. Help. People are laughing at me. What's happening? Help. All right, I'm out of here. Wait a minute, no, I'm gonna beat the shit out of that stupid heart. I can't get to it. What a, what a, what a strange thing, and it took my gun. But I have the key again for the exit. Ball! Land it, stick it, let's get out of here again. This time, let's do it right. Why did my head explode last time? Break rooms are closed now. Everything's getting real short, too. I don't like the look of it. Oh, hey, man. Man? He's blocking the exit. Getting real pissed off at these fucking vampires. Starting to get really PO'd about it. And I don't have my gun. And I don't have my fucking gun. Oh! And I don't have my gun. And if I don't have my gun, what's the point in living anymore? Oh, hey, man. Well, I guess uh, that break room's kind of a bummer. Let this one. Go. 
Kill him, not me! Better luck next time, bozo. Here I am in the TV realm. Get me out of this hellhole. Why would this game subject me to this? I'm one of their I'm one of their only two players. How could they subject me to this? Pop. Pop, pop, pop. Get out of the way! <gasps> Yes, it is. I'm fine. All the duckies are kissing. Ain't that just the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? Yeah, I don't care. I'll just respawn. Now, I actually want to know why I did that. I think it might be the last statue I've been missing. So, um... I wanted to make sure I reset to do it, if it was still there. Because I'm missing one statue. Huh? 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 What about fish death? What about fish death? I can't get in there anymore. So all I can do is test the one I have. Is this guy dead now? Son of a bitch. Chase me. That or it's a leg half vampire and I'm not really sure about that one. Go around this if I can. Nice. Okay. Let's just go. There's nothing for us in this place anymore. Let's leave. Get despawned. They don't know what directions are. Huh. Can't help, goodbye. Oh no! Holy shit, he ran them all over! What happened to the guy? The guy, what happened to him? Fuck, I fucked up. There's faces in that hallway. I wanted to know what happened to the guy. I just wanted to know what happened to the guy. We'll never know. Oh, we'll know. You know how fast I can do this? Mildly. Alright, mildly fast. Thwomped. Thwomped. Thwomped hard. Idea? Idea. Idea gotta test. Idea gotta test. Ladies, idiot. The Let's Play Realm. The Let's Play Realm. The Let's Play Realm. The Let's Play Zone. Well, now I've gotten all the deaths. Where's Markiplier? To bring Mark to me now.
Bring me Mark. <laughs> Bring him to me. Really love how slippery the floors are, but only if you turn around. What? Did you see how much I slid? Quick turn on your face cam. I, uh, no. No, no, no. My character only occasionally has like, sl like, like actually slippery shoes. But only sometimes. Best luck to you, bozo. Always forget about the acid. Good news is it doesn't count. Okay, I'm not gonna get to ever find out what happens with uh, the guy who wants help. Can help you, man. I need to know. R.I.P. Wait, he was still alive. He was still saying, Help me. Not even getting flattened can take him out of this horrible nightmare. Wait, I have them all because this one's being melted. Is that his more? That is more fucking fucking Mario! Epic! Bro! Please don't blow up my head. Bartender's gone. The toilet still has one guy in it. Let's go. What's up, man? Yeah, I broke out. I'll see you later. Cool shit. I know there's more to this game that they're adding later. Hey, come back! We're we are done! You need to go in one last time! Oh, fuck. Okay. Alright. I'm glad you're back. Last time we ended on your big breakthrough. Let's go through it all once more now that you're in control. No, I'm, I'm, no, the gamer's in control. I'll see you later. Give me this. Now I know. You ain't realized how dead you are yet. Let me make it clear for you. You're fighting the champ today. See you later. Better luck next time. See you later. Yeah, my way. I am in control. I am the captain now. Even the spikes dare not oppose me because they know better. They know I'm I am the one who discovered the Mario. I'm one of the most powerful warriors of this world. Troll. The last gnome! We have all the gnomes. Have you been a bad husband? Shut up. Uh -oh. Come along. Come along, everyone. Come along, butterflies. Your self-esteem. Dwindling. 
Dwindling. If I was to be frank. Dwindling. In need of help. Come here, last butterfly. Follow me. What is that sound? Pull you in. Come on, time doesn't move. Right. Your self-esteem? Totally fine. My brain's fine. I have good brain. My brain's working. Goodbye. How do I leave? I don't know where the exit is. Oh, I have to bring this last butterfly down. My brain's strong, powerful, better than most. Powerful, even perhaps epic. Afraid you screwed up your kid? No, I'm good. I'm all right. I still got time to take a bath though. All right, I'm out of here, let's do this. What about that other room? Maybe it's open now? Nope, button's gone too. I guess I just whiffed that one. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, huh? The vampire. Do you feel all alone? Did 99 reviews go up yet? We can only hope. Snake. Bro. I have time for an ice cream. All right, let's go. Out of my way! The only one that I'll leave standing is the dog one. Do you regret cheating? I have I have not cheated in any video games. Give me this. All right, you win. What does the back band say? I will I will say now to be as clear as possible I did not cheat. And left for dead too. I did not. I did not cheat. Was he worth it? Eh. Summon the swamp. Summon the swamp. We still have time to fish. <gasps> what the fuck? He was in there. Gnome. Bad day for all of you to be down here, I'll tell you what. Fuck out of here. Bonus Gnome. Extra Lanum. Fuck it, man. What's up, bro? Fuck out of here. <laughs> it's 
do this one last ride. Probably reach her from here. Now I know you don't think you're gonna pull this one over on me. But we how about we speed this up already? I got places to be. Come on already. Come on already. They almost still got me. That's kinda of spooky. Bang! 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 What more of those ought to do it? Bang! Reloading! Okay, well... Well, here we are. Uh, once again. At the end of the level. At the end of the game. Wow, I beat this before these fucking bullets could reach the end of the level. Kinda epic. You see now? It's all just a dream based on your past traumas. The whole game was just a dream. Now that you've faced them, you are cured. It's as simple as that, baby. So go out into the world and be happy. It's as simple as that, baby. It's as simple as that, baby. I'm cured. I've done everything I can. Did, did they just eat a booger? Did they just eat a booger? Was that what that fucking was? Are you satisfied with this ending? Not now. Not after what you just did. No. Then come back after the 15th of December where we will patch in the true ending. The new content will be the same size as what you have played so far. <laughs> Maybe I won't. <laughs> Maybe I fucking won't. You're so confident I fucking will. Maybe I fucking won't then. <laughs> the audacity of it. Uh -oh. What? Did you expect the game to be complete on its release? Huh? I can't remember the last time I played a game completed on its release day. Even Nintendo often releases their games before they are done. Huh. I remember when I was playing on my Super Nintendo. Back then, we got the whole game on day one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You are pretty old. Uh. What? Ha, ha, ha. Thank you for playing through the game before the big true ending patch. For this, you will get a special item in the safe room when the game updates. Huh. A singing fish on the wall. Yo! Alright. It was worth it. Hmm. It was worth it. Mm -hmm. If we sell more than 5,000 copies of Anglerfish before the 19th of January... Then we can afford to make a free DLC where you play as the golden haired vampire. Huh. So spread the word, write a review on Steam, and let us see if we can make it happen. Mm -hmm. We look forward to you playing the true ending. This game was great. There's no way it doesn't get a hundred Steam reviews. <laughs> It'll de the, the vault door will definitely open. Nurse? For sure, it'll open. They're, they're going to. Not sure about five thousand copies, though, bro. People, there's a, there's a. You gotta understand, Steam has a lot of reach, and uh, so does YouTube. I bet it. I bet that'll happen by January. 
I bet. There's one thing I do want to check, though, before I, uh, before I wrap up. I want to see if I can go in and open the gnome, uh, the gnome box. They full on blocked me! We'll never know what was inside the gnome box because the game save believes I've beaten it completely. They're, they're blocking me until the game gets updated. Alas, we won't know what was in the gnome box, not yet. Shame. There's like going to be 5,000 YouTubers that are gonna make it. Yeah, chat. Literally, this game is this game is very friendly for YouTubers and streamers to make videos of it. Uh, so you gotta remember, most of them, including myself, bought the game. Uh, so yeah, I, it'll get there. It'll get there. It'll get there. This game was great. This game was great and very creative. Uh, so excited to see the updates when they release. I'm done though. I'm done though. Uh, I don't think Pipe Dreamers is happening tonight. Uh, yeah, Pipe Dreamers is not happening, so I'm not sending you guys over to Brett. He doesn't have power. Uh, apparently we're gonna aim at something in December. We're, like, as in like, we're taking the next couple weeks off due to uh, stuff going on. So, Pipe Dreamers is just going to do a full month in December instead. From what I'm gathering here. So I reckon Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, cause I think, uh, I think that's, I, that's looking like what's gonna happen. Anyways, chat, thanks for coming on by. As always, I appreciate it, I really do. <laughs> They've sent me the most psycho fucking picture, like, four minutes ago <laughs> this is the most this is the most unhinged fucking thing I've ever seen someone get sent from a hospital I don't know if I can show this it's not like there's no information in it it's just oh he's in chat Dave if you can hear this can I show that picture because that is fucking cursed <laughs> <laughs> It's so cursed. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let me pull this up. I'll show this before we wrap up. Please collect your medication from the chemist as per specialist advice. Thank you, GG Surgery. GG? <laughs> GG? <laughs> GLHF GG, easy. Well, there you have it, folks. <laughs> there you fucking have it. All right, I'm going to go. I got some stuff I got to do. Uh so I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to split <laughs> gamer medicine. Hope you're doing good, man. Sorry we didn't have much time to uh, hang out lately, but hope you're doing good. Uh, okay, chat. I'm out. I'm gonna go. Thanks for gifting subs and donating bits, etc. As always, I uh, appreciate it. I will be back on Saturday. I'm not doing anything tomorrow. Uh, I do have D&D, but um, I won't be. I won't be streaming. Anymore. So, come on out for mistletoe. I think we're. I left a little late in the middle of the last mistletoe session. I had to leave uh, in the middle of the session. Uh, but um. I think it's spooky. I think it's we're doing like we're in a spooky campaign. So uh we're in like a spooky arc. So uh if you like spooky, we're doing spooky. We have spooky time. Anyways, see you all uh on Saturday. Goodbye. <laughs>